Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, is a unique character who has been growing in popularity for a while now. There is a question that I've always wondered about him, though. Why does Deadpool talk in yellow speech bubbles? <laughs> Welcome to a tie-in video where I wear a tie in videos. I'm Scott, and comics often use unique character-specific dialogue boxes to indicate that a particular comic book character speaks in a way that is abnormal. The different designs are supposed to help us as readers imagine more easily what their voices would sound like to us. Like Thanos, having a dark squiggly border makes me feel like he talks in a low, possibly dark rumbly voice. When Tony Stark puts on his Iron Man suit, his speech bubbles change from normal to a more electronic computery style, which helps us imagine that the suit alters his voice to sound a kind of like a robot. Sometimes you don't even need to change the style of the balloon, but just the font to create a unique character voice. Thor and other Asgardians are a good example of this. They will often be shown with a more archaic font as a way of making us as the readers hear kind of a Shakespearean voice that we've been conditioned for whatever reason to associate with that world. It's a visual shorthand that makes characters more distinct, allows for a contrast between individuals, and can also help flesh out a character, giving us more detail about how others perceive them. So how and why is Deadpool's voice different? I grant you that a yellow speech bubble isn't a lot of information to go off of when trying to determine how we should hear his voice. I'm so used to Nolan North that I just imagine him speaking as Deadpool regardless of how it's actually supposed to sound. I can't believe it! I'm alive! However, we do get clues in the comics about how it apparently sounds to other people. Cable, for example, occasionally refers to Wade's voice as sounding like a gravelly, hollow, Demi Moore sounding rumble. I have a husky voice mm -hmm. to begin with. And it's getting huskier because, you know, Dave got me into smoking cigars. His voice was also described slightly differently by Blind Al, Deadpool's former prisoner slash roommate slash mother figure. It's complicated. She describes Wade's voice as gasoline mixed with gravel. Apparently it's supposed to sound extremely unpleasant to the ear. And there's actually a fairly good explanation for this too. Remember Wade's origin in the Weapon X program that gave him a healing factor to hopefully fight off his extremely aggressive cancer. But the healing factor actually bonded to his cancerous cells. This process caused horrible scarring all over his body. But it wasn't just his outward appearance, he scarred inside his body as well, and this is actually the cause of his abnormal voice. When asked about why he sounds so weird, Wade explains that he has scar tissue on his vocal cords. So wait, does this mean that Deadpool should only talk this way if he's scarred? Because we've seen him lose his healing factor, which subsequently took away all his scarring, returning to uh, his normal human-looking self, yet he still talked in yellow speech bubbles during that time. Maybe that was done on purpose, probably because it was just the standard for the character at that point, and no one felt it necessary to change it since that design became fairly synonymous with Deadpool. But you might not have known that the design for Deadpool's speech bubbles wasn't always that way. It was always designed differently to indicate that something was unique in the way his voice sounded, but it went through a few iterations. In his debut in New Mutants number 98 from 1991, Deadpool's speech bubbles had a red outline around them. In Deadpool's next appearance, a few months later in X-Force number 2, he had a similar border around his dialogue, but this time it was yellow, so we're getting a little bit closer except that two issues later the border is now more of a lime green color. The very next issue after that showed that they really had no sense of consistency as it went right back to the red border. Then it jumped back to yellow and X-Force number 10 where it seemed to finally be locked in as Deadpool's default speech bubble design. This was the norm for a few years, even through both the 1993 and 1994 Deadpool miniseries as well as a few more appearances in X-Force. It wasn't until Deadpool Volume 1 Issue 1 from 1996 that he finally started talking in full yellow balloons and it's been that way ever since. Now if you want to know why he talks to himself in different colored caption boxes, that is a topic for another time foreshadowing. What do you guys think? Do you think Deadpool's yellow speech bubbles are a good visual representation for how he's supposed to sound? Who does your favorite Deadpool voice? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. And if you want more Deadpool, check out some of our other videos about the Merc with a Mouth. Click there to see whether or not he truly was a ripoff of Deathstroke, or write down below it to learn my theory about why he might actually be a mutant. And if this is your first time hanging out with us here at NerdSync, consider subscribing to our channel. We make new videos every week that ask questions and make learning a a little bit more accessible through the amazing world of comics. So make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, I'm Scott. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys on Monday for another episode of the Nerd Sync podcast available on iTunes and SoundCloud. See ya.